गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी एन ए द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व इन नंबर ऑफ इंजाइम्स कैटलिस्ट ऑफ विच द मेन इंजाइम इज द डी एन ए डिपेंडेंट डी एन ए डिपेंडेंट डी एन ए पॉलिमरेज इट कैटेलाइजेस the polymerization of the deoxyribonucleotide at a rate of approximately 2000 base pair per second it means when the dna it makes their own replica or their own copy it is at the fast rate and in one second we can say it can join 2000 base pair according to the rule of the complementary base pairing let us understand what are the enzymes involved in this process the helicase it is the name of enzymes which helps in the unwinding of the dna strands to form the replication fork the enzyme dna ligase it joins the okazaki fragments which are found on the lagging strand what is lagging strand what is okazaki fragments we will learn more we will see in the diagram you <clears throat> first you understand uh, by see the means uh, diagram yes my dear student the figure shows the replication of dna schematic representation just you can see when the dna unwinds it makes the replication fork its shape is y shaped and these fragments which just now we have discussed that it is the okazaki fragments and one strand is known as the template strand on which there is a formation of the replica and the enzymes dna dependent dna polymerase it helps into the synthesis polymerization of the complementary base pairing so by this diagram now you can understand it uh, it is a continuous synthesis here it is a discontinuous synthesis and this is the okazaki fragments means a small stretches or we can say fragments of the dna which will be later on joined together with the help of the dna ligase let us see what is uh, let us discuss what is the means process just you see that uh, the process is also an energy expensive process deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate serve the dual purpose of first acting as the substrate as well as it providing energy from the terminal phosphate the intertwined strands of dna separate from a particular point call origin of replication since the two strands of dna cannot be separated in its entire length due to very high energy requirement so replication occurs with a small opening of the dna helix the y shaped structure is formed which is known as the replication fork the dna dependent dna polymerase catalyzes the polymerization of the nucleotide only in 5 dash to 3 dash direction so we can say consequently on one of the template strand with 3 dash to 5 dash polarity the synthesis of dna is continuous while on the other template strands with polarity 5 dash to 3 dash the synthesis of dna is discontinuous and yes and the short stages of dna are synthesized the discontinuous synthesized or strands are later on joined together by the enzyme dna ligase thus we can say that the process of replication which is going on per second 
2000 base pairs can be polymerized with the help of the enzyme DNA dependent DNA polymerase and thus there is the formation of the new replica. So my dear students I think all of you must understand about the DNA replication. Later on we will discuss the next chapter, the next topic we can say that is known as the transcription.